Good day viewers. I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from. Alright, so as you can see, I want us to go through uh, mathematics paper 1 uh, on a particular question, that is question 21. And this question came in 2022, uh, GCE, mathematics paper 1, okay? So it's very important that you, you pay attention to whatever I'm going to teach here. So this question is just uh, based on linear programming, okay? So as you can see here on the diagram, we have a diagram that we have presented with. Then there is a question on this side. Write down three inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. So on this diagram, you can see that you have got this unshaded part, okay? And this unshaded region is being defined by this R here, okay? Meaning, this side, you can see this line is shaded on top. This one is also shaded here. And this line at the bottom is also shaded what? Down. All right. So, in order for you to describe these inequalities, it's very important that you choose, okay? Or when starting, you see which line is very simple for you to start with, okay? So, I'm going to rename my lines. Uh, this one, I will say this is line A. Then this one, we are going to name it as line B. Then this one, we are going to name it as line what? C. Okay? So the easiest one from these lines, A, B, C. So you can start with any. Now I'm just encouraging that you start with the easiest one. Then you keep on building just like that. For me, I'm going to start with line A. Okay? This particular line right here. Alright, so I've said you're going to start with line A. Okay? So this line A, when you look at this line, it's lying on the x-axis. This is the x-axis. This is the line that I'm talking about. Okay? And it's lying on the x-axis at the point where x is equal to what? 7. At the point where x is equal to 7. Okay? So our line A is lying on the x-axis where x is equal to 7. So at this point here, it's a 7. How do I know? I'm looking at this coordinate that I'm given here. So this uh, 7 is in the x, y, t coordinate right here. Now, these are inequalities. So when you're presenting them, you must use the symbols which are uh, less than or less than or equal to. You can also use greater than or greater than or equal to. Now, in order for you to use these less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you must look at the type of the line that you have, okay? If you're having a solid line, a line which is like this, that's when you're going to use less than or equal to or greater than or equal to because it's solid, meaning even the, the number itself is part of the solution set. But if you're having a broken line, okay, a line which is uh, like this, you can just use less than or greater than, meaning the number itself is not part of the solution set. So having said this, this line that we have, here, it's a broken what? Line. Alright, so this line that we have right here, it's a broken what? Line. So if it's a broken line, we are not going to say equal to, no. So, this side which is shaded, it's greater. Now they want you to define it using the shaded part, okay? So we are shading using the opposite. If this side is greater, then this side is what? Less. So we say x is less than what? 7. That is our first answer there for line A. Now, we are remaining with line B and C. So from these two lines, you can either pick line B or you pick line what? C. So let's say in this case, we pick line what? C. This line C. So I'll say I'm picking line C here. Okay? So this line C, when you look at it, it's passing on 0, 0, it has gone this side again. Uh, it's also passing on this point, 7, 7. So, uh, in order for you to answer this one, you can use these two coordinates, 0, 0 and 7, 7, okay? If you don't want to do that, you will understand that on the properties of that are on the Cartesian plane. If a line is passing here, like this one, the way it's uh, passing, this is the line y equal to what? x 
okay now this is the equation that i've written remember you have to present this using an e in equation which is the inequality so we are going to say y then we leave space here we write x okay so looking at uh, the type of line that we have it's a solid line okay so if it's a solid line it's going to have equal to either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to so looking at the shaded part it's shaded on top here the shaded part is greater while the lower region here is less the upper region is greater the lower region is what less all right so if the upper region is greater and the lower region is less so we are defining it using the unshaded part so the unshaded part right here which is the opposite is less so here we are going to say y is less than or equal to x okay why are we putting equal to because this type of line that we have it's a solid line so even if you use the coordinates you say 0 comma 0 7 comma 7 you try to find this line okay you are going to get the same what answer all right now we come to line what uh b so i've answered line c and line a we are coming now to this line okay we are coming to this line all right so for line b for line b it's passing right here okay as you can see so let's take note of the coordinates we have this coordinate right here which is 7,3 so the same line when you come down here it's also passing on this point where you have this coordinate which is 1,1 so take note of the coordinate 1,1 okay then you also have 7,3 now for this one uh, you can't say because here I said it's y equal to x then this one you say no this one we are just going to use the coordinates that you have okay to come up with the, the equation of the straight what line so first thing we are going to find the gradient using these coordinates so we rename our coordinates this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 all right now let's come up with the formula for finding the gradient of the straight line where i will say m which is standing for gradient there equal to uh y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so let's compute there our y2 is a 3 minus our y1 it's a 1 y2 is 3 right here y1 it's 1 over your x2 is a 7 minus your x1 is right here which is a 1 okay so from there gradient is equal to 3 take away 1 you get uh, a 2 or you remain with a 2 7 take away 1 you remain with what 6 so you have 2 over 6 find the lowest uh, the highest common multiple find the highest common multiple of 2 and 6 okay of which it's 2 2 there 1 2 into 6 say 3 so finally your gradient is 1 over 3 so we try to simplify the things there okay so after finding the gradient now we can use the same gradient to find the equation of the straight line all right so uh let's now find the equation of the straight line so we are going to use this formula where we say y minus y1 equal to m open bracket x minus x1 so take note here we only have uh, y coordinate then we also have the x coordinate and no wonder this is y1 x1 then this m is representing the gradient so from the two coordinates that you have you have this coordinate 7,3 and 1,1 1, 1. you can pick any okay so you can either pick this one or this one if you pick this one you fuse it in there you also put the gradient you are going to find the answer also when you pick 1,1 1, 1, you're also going to find the same answer so you can pick which of uh, between these two can pick anyone so let's say we pick 1,1 1, 1. so this one will be x1 this one will be y1 then the value of m which is the gradient we have said is 1 over 3 because we have calculated gradient there so what do you do just replace y minus y1 we have said it's 1 
So y minus 1 equal to m is the gradient which is 1 third. Open bracket. This x will remain the way it is. Minus your x1 will be what? A 1. Okay. So that is what you are going to have. From here, you open the brackets by multiplying with 1 over 3. So you get y minus 1 equal to 1 third times x. You are going to get 1 over 3x minus 1 over 3 times 1. You are going to get 1 over 3. So from here, what you can do, this negative 1 can go this side. So it will just remain with y equal to 1 over 3 x minus 1 over 3 plus 1. This is a positive becomes, sorry, this is a negative becomes a positive, that side. Okay? So, what you are going to do now is you are going to divide this by 1. Okay? Because this is a fraction, a fraction. Make also that one a fraction so that we come up with the common denominator which is what? 3. So, 3 into 3 it's 1, 1 times that x, it's x, minus uh, 3 into 3, it's 1, 1 times this one, it's a 1 there. Then you say plus 1 into 3, it's 3, 3 times that one, we we'll get a 3. So from here we say y equal to x, so I can separate these, this 3 is standing, for, okay. One, negative 1 plus 3, you we'll get a positive 2. Okay, which is over 3, again over 3. I've just separated that. So this is the, the equation, okay? So we must come up with an, e, an equation. So our final answer now is going to be y, we leave space here, we write x over 3 plus 2 over 3. So the line that you are looking at, Alright, so the line that we are looking at, this is the line, okay? So, when you take a look at it, it's a solid what? Line. So, if it's a solid line, you are going to have something, uh, the inequality symbol that you are going to have should be equal to, okay? Should be equal to. So, the shaded part is less, okay? So, remember, we are describing this inequality using the unshaded part. Then, the unshaded part is greater. So you define this inequality using the unshaded part, which is greater. So y is greater or equal to x over 3 plus 2 over 3. So let me just make a statement now for the final solution. I just present the three inequalities that we have come up with. All right. So uh, now the final answer, therefore, the inequalities that we have, Remember for line A, we said it's x less than 7. Then for line B, which is this one, okay? For line B, we have said it's y uh, greater than or equal to 1 over 3x plus 2 over... Alright, so for line B, it's y greater than or equal to 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3. We answered this one, okay, where we said x over 3. Now, this one, x over 3, you can also write it as 1 over 3, and then x right there. It's one and the same. Then for line C, this is our line C. We said this one, it's y uh, less or equal to what? x. So, these are the three inequalities that we have answered. Remember, this question in an exam, it was carrying what? five marks. So thank you so much everyone for viewing this content. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Then I'll be able to reply to you. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.